All right, I'm just uh, just quick like making a video to show you how everything I do on the back end. So I just finished the Michigan race. I've uh, imported the video, the race video, and the uh, you know me talking, and that's me uh, reading like a loose script of the intro and stuff. And then I sync it up right here. Uh, it's basically how a, a clap, why they use a clapboard in Hollywood. So they can see the clap on the screen and match it to the sound. And you can see I'm trying to, this is me doing this live right now. You can see me matching the first peak of the wavelength to me talking. Test, test, test. That's all synced up. But later on in the race, I'll have to sync it up again. You'll see why. Uh, this is the this is the Andre intro here that we won't be able to do because what I have to do is go into this. I'll have to play it on the, in this on that. This is my recording of the race that I of my voice, but right now I'm recording this, <laughs> so I won't be able to uh, show you exactly how I go about doing Andre. But I'll find Andre's what he says here. And then I'll just change the pitch and whatever, export that specific, this little area here, and then throw it into the timeline in the in, in the in the movie software here, hit, hit film. All right, now we get to the nuts and bolts. This is the first time I got to figure out something to sync up, which is Elton John. I, I, I make a mental note, once that Elton John sign is gone, that's where the, you know, after we talk about the points and it cuts down to the track, this is where it syncs up with the replay and you'll see what I mean here. So that's that. We actually don't need any of the Andre stuff because I'll be able to put that in later. And what I do is uh, here's, uh, here's the owners and the points from last race. Here's where the starting grid begins. Sometimes I forget to take something out of the timeline. Uh, we're looking for audio two, audio two and three, and video two. Nothing can be in those tracks because I'm trying to paste into them right now. Yeah, right here. This should work now. Nope. So there's something else in those tracks. Video two and audio two and three. We're looking for something in those tracks. There we go. So this goes from the points to the replay. All right, the. Uh and then the music, and that's me talking, but I'm gonna have to go splice, go find Andre. And how I go, how I do that is, you'll see a big peak right here, this peak. This, this, just enough of a peak right here in this, in this audio. That's me saying, okay, Andre's done talking. Uh, and then I'll be able to find that peak right here. In the in this is where Andre is going to be done talking. So I would grab everything to the left of this to the beginning and change the pitch of it, and then just uh, put it into the race. And then I'll um, put Andre in there. And then I'm going to slice that, cut that right now. And I got to watch this. So from the beginning of the race, the, f the first hot replay action we see to start the race, it's going to be 5 minutes and 43 seconds, and I'll round that up to 545. So I have to um, uh, make a make a note on my. I have I, I keep a like a notebook or like a uh, you know a piece of paper from a notepad. And I'll write down how much time I have to spend on each. So right now I have intro written down for 5 minutes and 45 seconds. And now this is me talking. This is me talking. And there's nothing exciting here. Until we get to the snapshot, which is about right here. So this is actually, this is actually what I do here. Is I'm racing. I hit the unpause. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I screwed this one up. Yeah. TBS, damn it, PBS. <laughs> That's me messing up the throat, the throat of him, and then 
<laughs> I'm going in the replay, saving the replay. And you'll you'll see <laughs> you'll see a better way I do this. Uh, this is this is gonna be a bad edit here. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. PBS, one. damn it, PBS. Um. Yes. So I gotta go watch this. <laughs> you'll, you'll see the cleaner way I do it. Because I screwed this one up. But I want to keep the race. This is me. This is gonna be Andre talking about the snapshot here. PBS Motorsports Field Snapshot. Yeah, this will be. I'll jump in and talk as Andre. And now I gotta go find where the race begins. Or where the race resumes, about right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I don't need any of this action anymore that isn't me racing. So this is where the first snapshot's gonna be. Damn it, PBS. So this is gonna be this is gonna be Andre talk. So what I do when I pause the game, I'll talk as Andre, but I'll keep a stopwatch going on my phone. So as I'm yeah. done talking, I'm like, oh, that took me that took me about a two minutes, or whatever it is. And then you'll see all this silence is me racing, but it's actually Andre talking. And this is me jumping back in right here, and that's gonna be about two minutes. Lap 16. I'm gonna write that down. Snap. I just write snap. 16 and uh, I know that's how long I have to talk or snap 16 and then about 2 we'll call it 2.15 because that gives me some extra time right here and we'll drag that snapshot all the way there so it doesn't look good now but just wait so that snapshot's done this is me talking. Tap that break a little bit. This is me talking as myself. Look, and now I'm looking for a teammate. Now, now I got a. Red Hart's been gunning for a month. Looks like there's some weirdo moves here. Looks like pit stops are going to begin. Somebody's pitting. Yeah. So pit stops are beginning. Like, do I want to go back? Do I want to go back and sync all the way back to the previous lap for this for the replay? No, we're going to use the 76 ball right here. Okay, and you'll see what I mean. 76 ball, lap 28. And I'm gonna cut that right there. And that's uh, L28, pits, C76, T4, turn four. And you can see these are all vestiges of Drop the hammer of Phoenix. This is where I had to make a transition in the Phoenix race, and I just keep that stuff in the transit in the timeline. Sorry to say. And pit stops are done, and usually I, I I don't need to keep a timer on how long those that replay will go because I move up to you know I sweep up the track and show the standings, and however long that takes, that's how long it takes. But now we're going to commercial. I can see just the dead air here. I know I'm going to commercial. It's gonna be. Lap 37, we're going to commercial. And I think I I stopped for a couple minutes to do something here. And this is going to be Andre talking that I'm going to have to put in later, change the pitch of it, this, that, and the other. And I delete everything up to that point. I don't even have to sync up. We don't even use my race footage here because we go to reap, we go to commercial. Here in Michigan. Don't go away. So that's, that's Andre talking. And let's see how long of a commercial footage we need. So about a minute, 57.04, about a minute. Um, lap 37, lap 37 com, uh, just some shorthand I use, 37 com, 
Um, one minute. So I know I need a minute of footage at lap 37 when I hit the start finish line, then I can move the camera anywhere and have it be synced up. And you wouldn't know any better. You might not even know it's perfect, but I, I strive for the perfection. So, so now this is me dead air during commercial. No talking, no nothing, just running the race. And you know how I synced up the video earlier. Now I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna sync it up again. And I, I leave myself a note here. Lap 47, return. Return. Bop. bop. The bop is supposed to be at the start finish line. So for whatever reason, I don't. Uh, whatever technical reason. It ends up being off five frames, and I usually skip up a little bit more to, you know, make up for any lag that's going to happen the rest of the race. So, that's done. Then I leave myself, here's the commercial, and I'll leave myself about 30 seconds for a commercial. Pop that in there. This is the return, lap 47. And sometimes if you hear that bop, that's because I'm... I forget to edit that out, but I took that out there, so that's good. And this is going to be Andre talking from the blimp. We are back here in Michigan. Um, and then while I'm here, I can move all the commercial stuff over here. So, this won't be perfect right now, but it will be. Wayne Debley just turned day. in his fastest the lap of the race. That's pretty hot. hot uh, we got Elton John. Who else, you know who else is hot? Betty. F and rubble. <laughs> so, okay, so that's, there's the commercial, and then um, the return is right here, I call it. And we'll put those, we'll put that right here. And. We are back here in Michigan. You can see Gibson 137 still in there. I'll show you what I do with all that. Oscar Mayer aerial platform. And now we have a snapshot. And this is traditionally how I do snapshots. Without the muck up of hitting, accidentally hitting pause. I'll find where it's about. You can see where the engine sounds die here. So I know that's where I, I splice it. This is Andre talking about the field. And then I go find where I resume about right there. That transition can be ugly because it you know, it changes to the field snapshot there, so it doesn't have to be perfect, and I move up to the top of the screen. That's actually a pretty good, that's a, that was actually a pretty good transition here. Yeah, you can see it skipped there. So, this is going to be Andre talking right here, and like I said, when I, when, when I was paused, I kept track of how long Andre talked during the field snapshot, and then when I unpause it right here, I stay silent for that amount of time, and then come back in when Andre's done talking. And that's going to be the end of the snapshot, and then I'm going to put snap two where that snap begins. So, yeah. And this one again. This snapshot's gonna be a minute and 50, we'll call it two minutes. And uh, this is why I like keeping the lap time, or the lap number of lap, well, yeah, this info there, so then I don't have to go find it. Lap 49 is gonna be the snapshot, but we gotta go back actually and write down lap 47 return. Chicken scratch on this thing because I, lap 47 return and we want it to go to the snapshot a minute 34 so a minute 40 just to be safe on that and then snap 49 is the field snapshot for what would we say it was two minutes yeah so that's there that's done and but hey, that's the car I'm picking. I wish you could stop racing this is me talking about whatever the hell I'm talking about. And then I look down, lap 59. I'm trying to find when lap. Uh, we got a slow car in the back. This is that's during pit stops. That was the Russ Wheeler thing. I'm gonna have to make a note to. I've lost where three amigos are. Okay, there's Benedict Arnold pitting. Not ideal. 
Benedict Arnold pitting, and we'll use that 76 ball again when that disappears. Right there. Lap 57, pit stops. C76, T4. Did I, did I already splice that? No, I didn't. I got it. So I splice that there, and you'll see why I do all this. But now, we have the Russ Wheeler thing. It's tough to know if they're pitting, though. If they're on the inside. Speed up when all these other cars... But if I can keep my speed up and not hit the apron... <laughs> It'd be wild. All right, this is where Russ Wheeler oh, drops. All right, this is where Russ Wheeler, Russ, Russ Wheeler drops off. He drops off a minute and four seconds into this pit replay. So I'm gonna make a note: 50 seconds. I mean, this is just flying by the seat of my pants. 50 seconds. Cut to C18. <laughs> so then we can see what happens with him. I'm showing pit road here. Well, we actually haven't had to do. I don't know how long the pit stops are going to last. Doesn't matter because Ross is tracking her down. I'll see that in the replay. Clean pass, nice battle. Ross making a move on uh, Betty Rubble up there. That was lap 66. I made a mental note. Lap around lap 66, there was some hot action for the lead. So I'm going to sync that up to lap 66 and just type lead or just write lead down and see how long that action goes in the replay. Named at the bottom. Oh, here's another field snapshot. You can see where the engines die. Andre talking right here that I have to put in. Here's where I unpause the game after talking as Andre. And I throw the snapshot in there. And this is a this is a long one. That's where I'm that's where I get back into talking. That's two minutes, so we'll call it two minutes and ten seconds. A snap on lap seventy. So, oh, and Gumby both have wins this season. So I wanted what I want to do is after the snapshot, is show. I hold on to this top ten. Let's show the action for the. Show the action for the win here. And I always sync myself up because this is the easiest way to sync up the replay in the replay editor. Really push it. So lap seventy-five for me. I'll just I'll write lap seventy-five. End. And that'll be it. And then I'll follow myself to hitting Bob Ross on this in the start finish line or whatever. And you can see the rough end to this is going to be definitely under an hour. And here's the there's the segue into the end results and everything. These are all the results from uh, Phoenix. So that's done. Next up is the good stuff. We go into the replay editor. We can, we, let me think. Oh, I, I need to do one more thing. I need to go find Andre talking. I, I have to, this is important. I, my workflow got messed up a little bit here. But I gotta find how long Andre talks about the race. Yeah, about that. About here. For this hot stuff. That's him talking in the PBS Sports booth. But all this. 19 seconds is his, we'll call it 25. I'll call it, it's called, I, I, I write down pan 25. I need 25 seconds of 
you know, just blimp footage or something to, uh, at the end, at the beginning of the race, or show the cars on pit road. Something. I need 25 seconds of that. But that's good. And then uh, in the replay, I need the, the thumbnail eventually. I need the end picture that we use. And then we got to find a commercial to throw in here. But this is done. And then what I want to do now is start recording replays. Um... Where are we at here? Oh yeah, you see uh, MM, I think, I forget, it was M, M22 and M113. This this was a Memphis race that I ran um, after Phoenix. And this was this was my, uh, my, my, my power went out. <laughs> my power went, it was the first time in 100 and whatever races. So those, those were field snapshots. I had to step away even a couple days to get that race out of my mind. Um, but yeah, I totally forgot about that. So here we go. Michigan, the Michigan race. We're all good. Sometimes you have to speed up to get Wayne Deadwilly on the track. There it is. We're not worried about Wayne Deadwilly right now. We want, I got to pull up my phone timer. We need 25 seconds of, uh, intro footage. which we'll just do that here. Riveting stuff here, I know, but... Yeah, we'll just zoom in. All the way around. 25 seconds of footage. Let's, let's zoom in on a car. Just pick a random one. Jules Winfield right there. All business. Just pan up the rest of the grid. We're up to 27 seconds. That should be enough. We're done. So that's one thing done. Next up, next up, I got to get the actual uh, view of the track for the Andre's booth. There's really no exact science to this. Something like that. Print screen, and I have a screenshot folder that I will grab that from. So that's done. And then we need five minutes and 45 seconds of hot intro action, which I gotta go. And remember we synced up Elton John? There we go. Now this is where this syncs up with the uh, hot action. <laughs> or, you know, in my, yeah. So now it's just a matter of finding camera angles, whatever camera angle you wanna use. This one, I went to control B, which is on, you know, the free cam software I use. Um, control B puts you on a car and then you can move around. And we're gonna start the timer here. Five minutes and 45 seconds. Sometimes I forget to hit the control N there. But this is showing all the field, everything off the grid. Now to move away from this control B or control N, you gotta hit V, and that's why it always cuts to Wayne Deadwilly after everything. It's sometimes awkward, there's them going through the cars and whatnot, whatever. But let's get out of that camera angle and switch to something else. I forget, uh, you know, I'm doing this, I'm not cycling through this while I'm listening to myself narrate talking about the starting grid. This is just, uh, you know, just doing what we're doing. I'm picking a random car for no reason. Maybe cut to I have hotkeys here. Maybe cut to the the front front bumper of Whitney Houston here. Show uh, Jerry Punch making moves here. Cut to her rear. Show that. Maybe move up in the field. Cut to the spectator view for some bizarre reason that doesn't look good at all. But whatever. But I do enjoy. I do like showing that towards the end of the clips because you can see where your car is running there let's try to get some hot let's try to get the action of uh, <laughs> the pace car going off and then I 
accidentally hit the wrong thing. We're going to show the the start here. And we're underway. I think this has a speed shot right here. Yeah, and I'm going to hit Control N. So it keeps this static, but then I have to hit V to change to Wayne Deadwilly. There he is. And look at that action here with uh, Whitney Houston early. So I'm going to... These are all just... This, this is just all how you navigate this free camera program. You just learn how to do it. I'm using the mouse right now to move... Move around, kind of like flying a plane. Z and X, zoom in and zoom out. Insert and delete, move you up and down. Just hot racing, zoom in really in tight here. Wayne did well, he's scraping. Let's look at the front of the pack, what's going on here. Try to show a battle for the lead up there. Zoom out so you don't get like motion sickness. Bob, I mean, I'm recording this knowing Bob Ross got the win. So sometimes I have to keep it on my mind, like, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to tip it off that he wins, but there's no way in hell you would know that anyway. But so right now I'm zoomed in on Wayne Deadwilly's car. And we got just good three three wide stuff happening here. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on it. All right, now we're two wide. That action's done. Looks like all the action's done. And then we cut to the spectator shot, so you can see how, where your car is at. You know. And we're at three minutes and 40 seconds right now. We still have two, two more minutes of the intro. And it doesn't have to be this long. I usually coincide it with Andre done talking, the rec timer, this, that, and the other. So I just finished recording the rest of that uh, intro. Now we got to move to the field, the first field snapshot. Lap 16. Lap 16, we'll get on Wayne Deadwilly, and you're going to see the camera go static. This is when I ex escape from the game right there. So, um, you now we want to find a field snapshot, and we want to move a little bit ahead of the field. So that's why some of these aren't perfect, but I try to stay as close as possible to when I took the field snapshot. So this this will be a good angle. And actually, with TNN, I've moved the the you know whatever the standings to the right of the screen. And I'm gonna hit Control N so that camera stays there. And then we'll have this action to the left. And we two minutes and fifteen seconds. This has to be. So I just started the timer. And I'm going to slow-mo it, and then we sit here for 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And watch this. And when, it end, when, when this ends, I'll cut back to live, hit 5. Lock back, go back to real speed, and obviously it moves to Wayne Deadwilly because it has to. And then I'll just show some racing in the, throughout the field. And this isn't live, this is delayed however many seconds it took for the slow-mo to play. But I could obviously go and... Uh, obviously go and sync this back up to when the, sp the snapshot was done, but who cares? This is actually the perfect kind of video to show this making of because there's no cautions, just no, no muddiness. Harry Balls and Walter Sobchak. 
And when I'm going through the field, I'm like, have I talked about Walter Sobchak? Was I talking about him during this snapshot? I don't remember. So I'm just cycling through the field, showing whatever's going on. We're at a minute and 30 seconds here. Sometimes I luck out and I accidentally, you know, capture something. You know, I talked about during the race, but I forgot to throw into a replay thing. Like, write down, like, oh, this would be cool to show in a replay. Um, but yeah, okay, we got... Do we have action here? I don't know. But... We'll cut to the front, because we have the speed... Oh, no, we... We're at 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I was going to say, let's do a speed shot, and we probably could go into turn 1, but 2.15, two the snapshot is done. We're done. Next up, lap 28 pits. And this is where I... Uh, I go to lap 29, because it, it puts you on lap 28. And that's the free camera moving. i got to keep that still. i got to sync up the 76 ball. Right there. And this is where pit stops begin. Here's pit road. And this is not the Russ Wheeler. This is not the one where Russ Wheeler um, got slow in the back stretch. So we don't have to worry about it. And then I'm gonna zoom in. And this is the, th this is the thrilling stuff here. I'm just gonna, ready. Oh, I don't have to start the timer here. I can just hit play. And we're off. And that's going to be synced up to the 76 ball. Uh, yeah. And I'll catch you on the flip side when pit stops are done. All right, there's the cars leaving pit road. So it looks like this is going to be it. And what I'll do is I'll switch to nine. This is the... This is... Uh, pit cameras one and two in the replay are like the two real good free roam ones in this program and nine was the one I used for the uh, what do you call Andre's booth so now I just move it here and show the standings and I'm not sure the standings are going to be accurate yet I wait till all because all pit roads done so now I'm waiting for just the top ten numbers to change There we go. Those are done. But it's I got I got bumped down to P12, so we'll move those. 11 through 20 just changed. <laughs> Not an exact science, you know. Just trying to show you where your cars are at. 21 through 30. One, two. I try to count in my head seven seconds roughly. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's done. And then maybe for this final shot. Bring the camera down some, zoom it in, whatever. Wayne Dead really having trouble there. And that's it. And we're done with that pit. We're done with that pit sequence. Now there was a stretch. Hot racing. I had hot racing lap 22. I think there was a. I think there was like a. A section of the race where I said something like wow this is awesome this is what it's all about so I want to find where that racing was. yeah it was about right here yeah lap 22 so I'm gonna this is just me remembering this is and we'll go to TV one and we'll just show this action for a few laps and then whenever I, whenever I go back into my video editing software um, I don't know, I can sync this up with lap 21 in my actual footage and it'd be synced up, maybe off a frame or two, whatever. But these are those couple laps where I was like, oh man. So yeah, I just recorded all that hot racing there. And then lap 37 is a minute of commercials. Or a minute of going to commercials. What do we want to do? 
it's not a short track to where you know there's all, always going to be cars zipping by on the co the commercial camera, you know. So we want something different. We always come back with the blimp. Um, it makes sense to show the leaders here, you know, when we're talking about them. So we'll just do this, switch to camera, eh, camera, that's not going to work. It could work, but uh, we'll go camera one and then switch to camera two later, but we need a minute. Ready, set, go. And we need a minute of footage here. We'll show some of this hot stuff. Show the front hood here. And just, just stay on Gumby. Why not? Because we'll be able to see a lot of the top 10 cars here. That actually gives you a good idea on what the gap is. That's a good shot. We got about 20 seconds left. We're just gonna keep it on Gumby. All the way to the commercial break. That is one minute. We are done with the commercial. And then we come back from commercial on lap 47. Yeah, about right there. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Lot 47. What did I talk about coming back from uh, with Sydney Sweeney stuff? Um, so, I mean, what car do we focus in on? Probably Bob Ross, because Bob Ross is now in the lead. We're gonna focus on Bob Ross. Go to the go to the can't go to the blimp, and we have a minute and 40 seconds here until the field snapshot coming back from commercial. This is me as Andre during the race talking live, like we're back at the Michigan, whatever. All right, now we, I just recorded a snapshot there, the ending with Bob Ross, but now we got to sync up for pit stops. 76 ball gone. There we go. And then watch this trick. So right now everything's paused. We're in good shape. What I need to do though is go find Russ Wheeler. Which he was right behind me, so yeah. So I, I'm, I'm on Russ Wheeler's car, but now I'm gonna go to, to zero. And 50 seconds into this, we gotta cut to him. So we're gonna play. I'm gonna knock this down. We're gonna see the pit stops begin. And this is kind of dead air as we sit here. Yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit more. Something like that should be good. So we're at 22 seconds. Around 50, 50 to 55 seconds we cut to... I have a control one on my keyboard. It switches to TV one and it's gonna be on Russ Wheeler. So again, this is a very easy video. Very lucky that this is easy to show a making of because if it's complicated, we would just get bogged down. Hell, there's there's Russ Wheeler going into turn one right now. So we know he's in good shape right now. We're at the 50 second mark. We're gonna cut to him because we know his car is about to lose it. There you go. And then we don't wanna, we don't wanna lose. Okay, we have that action. That action is good. We're done, we're back on pit road, making sure, you know, uh, maybe Campbell Racing wanted to see, and Filski wanted to see how their cars were doing on pit road. Rocker 105 just had his moment in the sun with Russ Wheeler. We're eventually gonna see Russ Wheeler on pit road here, I assume. And uh, we'll finish pit stops, then I'll pan up the screen and show the standings again. All right, I just finished uh, recording pretty much all the replays. Wasn't gonna put you through all that. Because you've seen it all. But we need uh, 
Two things. We need a ending shot for the results page. Which is this is just totally random. Ooh, this actually This actually looks pretty good. But then I get obsessed on who I've used in thumbnails. And I shouldn't probably be too obsessed with it. That's the thumbnail right there. Nice hot banks. And... <laughs> um, who cares for the... Uh, whatever. Just randomly stop. Paul Revere. Okay. That's pretty good right there. That'll be the final. And then I need to go get a uh, commercial. So how long did that take? Hour and six minutes. It usually takes less when I'm not explaining stuff. All right, we're back in our uh, movie editor. Phase two now is putting the replay into where it's got to be. So uh, this is me. This is actually me recording. Yeah. So first we need the broadcast pan that we did. Is this it? Yeah, we zoomed in on the cars. About right there. That's where it starts moving. So we're I'm grabbing grabbing that. I have my microphone a little bit away from my face so I can see my keyboard. Um, but now we got to put this on the intro shot. There we go. Tight racing. And then we over recorded with us for this hot stuff. So there we go. So now <laughs> we get into the good stuff. First thing is I, I call it the race switch. Basically there's two graphics. Um, that I'll put in here. This is Sydney Sweeney, so I'll move these over here. Replace the files. I don't need that anymore. And now those new ones are going to be here. If last week's tight racing <laughs> was the shy girls in the back of the class, this week's loose and fast racing. Yeah, is and the then girls who would touch a thing with their. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just double checking, making sure those fly in and out good. Here at Michigan International Speedway and PBS Motorsports is thrilled you're with us for this hot stuff. Welcome. All right, so now we got the booth. Let's grab the booth back, which is screenshots. And then uh, back here. So now he is in. This, these are just green screens. These are. Welcome into the PBS Motorsports booth. That's pretty good. And then uh, Dolly Parton. We don't need Dolly Parton anymore. Um, and I'll put Sydney Sweeney in there in the final thing. Because right now this will take... I still I, I, did, for, I, I usually just do this while I'm doing... You know, I'll throw her in, in there. But she's... This is all right here. I mean, I'll just put... And it's not the same aspect ratio. So I have like a... A little bit of a cheat sheet somewhere right here. I know this is the bottom that shows in the final video. So I'll have to put her in there doing something wild. And then I can just go in here and change. Or where's... Oh, I forget. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can put whatever I want over there. And then so I'll be, I'll be putting Sydney Sweeney in that in the final video. So this is all done. 
And oh, here are the beeps from the Dolly Parton intro. We'll knock those out. I can always throw those back in. Owner's points. Uh, TNN race graphics. And I keep these on the desktop because I talk about them before the race. So now these are updated. These will be 85, 14 races to go. I need a uh, transition here. There you go. Looking at the individual cup. And you can see I've already put Andre in Down here. to this, these, these hot banks, though. <laughs> mile track is going to be awesome. All right, the, uh... So now you see that I have this synced up. Now we got to go find Elton John. The Elton John sync. And I don't even have to watch this. But I know once this video starts playing, move back one, and now we're on the Elton John sync up. And then this is, I usually just peek at the timeline. We're a little under four minutes, and this was like five something, so we gotta go up to like nine. Something like that. And then I'll be able to splice that back out. So, this is gonna sync up. We're gonna have the hot intro. I gotta find when the green flag falls. On the uh, ass of the field after Yeah, so that's where that is. So I'm not gonna show my camera view yet. I'm gonna make that opacity zero. And now we're gonna cut to the actual awesome. shot. See? All right, the uh, hot action about to kick off down on the track. And then I gotta move the starting grid a little bit here. Track. There you go. Your, uh, Benedict Arnold on the oh, that's the uh, super flow. So when when we finish this up, okay. Now see, that's where Andre stops talking, and that's where I start. And then I have a cheat, a little cheat number here that I use. Not a cheat, but just I know it. Seven thirty, four hundred twenty. I made these like fifty percent transparent at uh, um, Memphis. But we'll go back to the usual smaller one here. And then effects, we'll do an additive dissolve, who cares? Um, but the replay sounds always down, but we want it up for these these uh, speed shots. So we're gonna Right now it's 20, we'll do it, we'll make, we'll do like five right here. So you're gonna hear the re replay sounds down, it's just me and my spotter. Nolan bringing us down, Peter, Peter, let's get out of we are underway here at Michigan for this. <laughs> yeah, not perfect, whatever. It flies down into turn one, it's... Okay. On the track here, uh, so we have the intro. Like I don't even have to watch this because I know it's gonna be all synced up, good. Camera, whatever we call it. And then I'm gonna move the onboard camera to when it cuts big. Uh, he's gonna be giving us some hot shots for the rest of the race. Thanks, Andre. So that's all synced up. Uh, but we gotta do a couple things now. We gotta do the starting grid. The grid's interesting. Not interesting, but basically, these are numbered one through 40 here. And here are my grid drivers. These are all the graphics I gotta put in. I'm copying them, putting them here. And what I do here is I go grab the race results. And I'll put them in here. And then I'm going to sort these 0 to zero to 98, basically numerically ordered, just like they are here. And then I have the starting numbers here, and I just got to tab one by one and match them. I can usually get this done in like 30 seconds. And if you mess up, you'll know you mess up because something just won't add up. Where are we at? 33. 
is Larry. Larry Bird is P18, 27. 36, 5, 35, 17, 34, 19, 7, 1, 15, 30, 38, 24. Now, so our starting grid now should be right on the money. This, this should be on the track here. Uh, Benedict Arnold on the motor, uh, super flow. Uh, Wayne Deadwilly starting P19. I, I don't go through and check all of these, but I just know who's starting where. Guess what? They're both starting in the bottom 10 here. That's just how it works in our series. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, so that's it. And then we got to do race analysis, which is anal. And that's what? It was 80 laps. Pit window was about 30 laps. Uh, full damage and no random. to TNN race graphics now we update <laughs> now we have the updated uh, race analysis and I do these on the fly fast so I double check them full damage no random we're good and then the rec timer Just thing there. pops up and then Wayne dead Willie's thing being silly we'll change this I heard this song the other the other day. Looking for some hot stuff. <laughs> and update that, and that's in there now. He's right. And then the schedule. This is where everything starts coming together. The schedule is we're at Michigan. Michigan's done. Or you know what I mean. I just kind of eyeball this. Oh, come on. What is this? Something like that. And then put the schedule in. The new schedule is up. This is there. So that's done. Now we get to the fun. Now we get to the fun stuff. First of all. We gotta do field snapshots, and this is, yeah, field snapshots. And you can see uh, things are getting a little bit unwieldy, but I, it's, it's organized chaos. So, this is the first field snapshot of the race. Now watch this. Watch what I have to do here. So I have the standings there. Standings are done. I have a field. I have a Excel spreadsheet here, and I'll throw the field summary into here. Now. When you, when you paste them in there, they don't split into columns, but then you have to. But no matter what I could do, I could never get the numbers separated from the driver. So I had to come up with a different way to organize them. Forget about that, first of all. But now we got to grab these numbers, which have 000, zero, zero. And the S in these doesn't let you use the number format function in Excel. So what I got to do is I got to go <laughs> to a site that removes text from that and we, we got the S's out of there now I'm gonna go to format number and there we go we got uh, two decimal places there on the um, intervals so those are those are our intervals next up remember I said we didn't have these we couldn't get those separated so what I had to do is I come up with a I had to come up with a alpha um, alphabetical list that matches that. So right now, that's gonna match zero through that I just organized. And I'm gonna put their running position right there. Then I'm gonna order that, and here we go. Now these are the actual names I'll put into the graphic. I know, I, I, it's wild, but it's, I, I, without explaining it, I would be done with it already. Um, but with the first field snapshot, we're not done yet because we have to do, <laughs> Uh, the big movers and shakers which in this case is I'll alphabetize them by name get their starting position go to the alf uh, go here alphabetize this with the same you know how we alphabetize the race results name format and then I'll put their starting positions here and then I have uh, 
formulas here. Starting position, current position. Benedict Arnold's lost six spots since the beginning of the race. And then I'll organize these here. And these are our big movers and shakers. Which is Bob Ross. 12, 12, 11, 10, 9. 12, 12, 11, 10, 9. Just saying them out loud, double checking. And the big losers were these. And that's it. Like, I, I, I'm at the point where I don't even have to double check it because I know it's going to be good. And that's snap one, I call it, because that's the first snap shot of the race. And we're all set up. But now I got to move my. Uh, my my view up to the top left so we can see the replay something like that and then we'll paste the attributes which just matches damn it pbs pbs so you see we're missing something huh we're missing the actual Field snapshot, which we'll, we're just gonna go grab here. Right there, it's about two minutes. And usually I just go, just grab it willy nilly because I know I can just slice it right here. And that's how this is good. Or TBS, TBS. Shut up. Damn it. PBS. There you PBS go. PBS Motorsports Field Snapshot. Um, Boy, you don't is it complicated and weird? You yes, it is. Your season, but going down into pit road. But we'll send it back down to you, buddy. Yeah, thanks. So that's how the field snapshot's done. I've done the grid. I've done everything. Back at the beginning, I still have to do the... Skip Ripley intro with last week's stuff, and here's all that. So that's all done. So schedule's done, all that's done, snapshot's done. Now we gotta sync up the first pit stops. Which I just realized I screwed up. Because I hit play around here, but there's no way to tell. Because nothing's moving on the screen, so I screwed that up. But I'm gonna use how I make up for that is I'm gonna use my where I'm at on pit road to sync that up. You'll see what I mean. There's always a way. What I gotta do? I'm gonna go copy that small. Picture and picture shot. There we go. So there's pit road. But now I lost my frame of reference on where this is, exa is exactly synced up. So I got to find when I'm on pit road. There we go. I got to go frame by frame here and see. I actually got this pretty good. I'm looking at the Jackman. I am I think the replay has to be two frames ahead. Maybe something like that. That's going to be close enough. That's uh, okay, I can uh, I get that I you start digging into this and you're just like, why am I doing this? You can see the Jackman. Dale should already be halfway past the car. We're still off by like a frame. I see it. Let's see. Hey, No, nah, it's fine. I mean, if you could if you could tell that was off a of frame when you watched the original, like the actual race, good for you, man. 
I don't mean that. I mean, that's awesome that you were able to see that, but who cares? So, now these transitions, I don't use any of them this race. All right, drop the hammer. But I do want to save how I've set those up, so I'm going to put those near the end of the race. Okay, you know, for the next race I do. I don't need this anymore. Now we have to do the standings overlay. Oh, and you can actually see that's decently lined up. Because, you know, the replay has that box that popped up showing the standings. And I was like, man, I want to show... You know, I want it to have the broadcast feel. So what I got to do is I got to go frame by frame and find one that pops up. Right there. Very good. And then... Find when it disappears. Just the amount of time it takes to do this is annoying. We're almost there. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Right there. That should be it. Or no, it has to go... It has to go one more. Here we go. Wait a minute. There we go. So every time you see that stand, that 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 little thing pop up over the standings, just know that I'm I'm sitting here mfing it. But it's calming at the same time, I suppose. But last thing I do on pit road is check and make sure that my little picture does not cover up any action. It really doesn't at all. That's the end of that. Now I guarantee the next thing is going to be the commercial. So we got to go find that. Commer go into commercial. Which was... Oh, this is that hot racing. Hang on. Which was what? Lap 22. And then this is easy to go find. Let's just go find lap 22. should be synced up right on the money. We're all side by side. You're now in the top uh, Keep low. I think I'm off. I think I'm off a... You're on the bottom, three wide. All right. I am off a uh, lap somewhere. Oh, because that's lap 23. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I'm way off. Hang on. Wait a minute. Yeah, lap 22. Hang on. This is it. And we're going to move this around. And this should be the... This should be the sync up with the racing action. This is still a lot of fun. Still this isn't it either. <laughs> what, did I, what did I miss here? Making sure you get back into the gas at the...
we're gonna figure this out. This is the sink right here. It was the middle of the middle lap. And we'll get it. Hang on. Right here. Um, yeah. It happens, gang. But this is gonna be lost his life in our truck truck season got spun around coming uh, back on the track clear. yeah this will be it so this will be good just know when you watch that final video how much again it's not frustration it's just wow I screwed that up and then learn from it don't hit the wall Keep high. But this is definitely synced up now right Yeah, so that's it. So I usually write that down, and I tried to be cool about it and do it on the fly, and I didn't have it lined up how I wanted. So now we're going to commercial. Again, nobody would care if this isn't synced up perfectly, but it's sitting there. I'll do it. We got basically like a minute here, something like that, and then we'll go to we're going to commercial here, and we don't need my footage anymore. So we got to bring up the replay volume of this. We'll see what this sounds like. The bills, folks. Sorry to say. It's a beautiful day. The racing is going to be as hot as the temperature. With 44 laps to go here in the Sydney Sweeney 160, Wayne De Debley just, just turned in his, his fastest lap of the race. It's pretty hot. Uh, we got. And then we'll we'll throw we'll change this so it comes up oh, John, now. You, got, you know who else is hot? Betty. Shit. Whenever. Whenever you cut down to the track, <laughs> whenever you cut down to the track, the sound gets louder. So we gotta drop that back down. Else is hot, Betty. Death and rubble. Bob Ross is racing for Bilski. Reese Witherspoon, a babe. P5, six through ten. So now, here's the 6 through 10, so I gotta do that, and, I don't know, oh, I have, I have fun with the, uh, transitions. 6 through 10, oh, there she is, Wendy, <laughs> pepper horn, I'm, I'm carving out a little bit this race, I gotta, yeah, you are, uh, I gotta get it under control, Larry, um, oh, oh wait. now I gotta put, a dissolve here, audio of the race, and then audio of Andre, and we're gonna go to commercial here. Six through ten. Oh, there she is, Wendy Pepperhorn. I'm, I'm chicken. Don't go away. So that's done. But now we got to do those co the the commercial there. Snapshot. I need that. Wayne Dead Willie. We don't need that. But we we're going to commercial break. Here's how I do the commercials. Is we got 44 to go. That's what he said. So we go 44. These are COM one and COM two, and I have these written down. And I got to do. The, I got to put these in there in reverse order. And this sometimes doesn't even work perfectly. 77, 33, 11. Uh, 43 and nine. You're just numbers to me. 43 and 9, and then I got those five. I'll align them, and then I have a cheat sheet up there on the, in the top of my wallpaper. 39, 90, 
and distribute three. And we got nine. Let's see if we match this up. Should be 943.11, Yep. So that's COM2 is done. Then we got to do COM1, which is 29.10.98. Uh, 31.17. And we'll do the same thing here. This thirty-nine ninety three. And that should be it's it's and you see how it's it's screwed up. They put Wendy it put we reached Witherspoon up at the top when it shouldn't have. And I've never figured out how this works exactly. 39.90, but we need Reese Witherspoon at the bottom. Damn it, Reese. Uh, Reese has to be... Elton John's in the lead. I don't know why this sometimes works perfectly and sometimes it doesn't. Reese doesn't want to work today, man. Come on, sister. Thirty-nine ninety, and then it worked. I don't know. M maybe moving Elton John to the top. I've done this so many times, and I still don't know how what the trick is. But that's seventeen, <laughs> seventeen thirty-one ninety-eight ten twenty-nine. That's it. Com one, we're done. This will be. Yeah. Six through ten. Oh, there she. Is. <laughs> so. Now we gotta do a couple more things. We gotta go grab the commercial. Whatever the commercial this is. that we got to put her commercial in here time it I come from a family of mechanics awesome finish here yeah okay <laughs> um Grab everything. Well, I gotta grab everything that's over here. Nice little break between the commercial and coming back. We'll cross dissolve and fade her out. There we go. We're back. We're back from commercial, and we're, we'll be on the we'll be on the Bob Ross blimp for a while here. And again, I gotta find where it began. And this bleeds right into the field snapshot. even need my my footage at all and then we'll bring the replay sound up so we can hear the helicopter there you go we are back here in michigan 34 laps to go and i'll try to find where he talks about the wiener blimp bob ross is i sent me sweeney a hot wiener uh <laughs> aerial coverage today and we'll throw it there it's provided by oscar myers the oscar meyer wiener <laughs> she was uncomfortable from the get. Uh, probably you'll might see some. St might see like a static flash here. I hope not. Oh, maybe ten. Yeah, we're about 
10, 12 laps. I guess not. I thought we were going to see a static little flash right here. Nope. But we'll go right into the snapshot. Which I recorded without your... Without documenting it earlier. Same deal. And then I'll make, I'll uh, put that make that snapshot field summary just like I did the other one. And I tell you what, that's pretty much it. Like I'm gonna sync up um, some more of the pit stops, and you see how um, you see how the Russ Wheeler thing will do. I got to do the standings overlay after those pit stops and do another field snapshot. Sync up the end of the race, you know, the race for the lead, and then segue to the end. Show the pictures that we grabbed at the end of the replay uh, change all these graphics talk about them and that's all she wrote that's how I, the, this yeah I mean this is just something that takes I don't know four five six weeks of diligent work just something to take my mind I, I, I don't know it's kind of relaxing and it's just something I enjoy doing whatever <laughs> but yeah uh, thanks for watching if you if you made it this far and uh Hopefully you picked up some tips if you do want to make these kind of videos anyway.